Hello, this is Rob Curry from SeaTech New Zealand. I'm here to take you through the operations of Siemens OpenScape Office desktop application and our most popular application, uh, My Outlook. So it's all of Siemens OpenScape Office's telephony functions embedded inside of your personal Microsoft Outlook screen. Here on the screen you see My Personal Office Outlook. In fact, this is Office 2010. And sitting here at the top of the screen, we see a tab called My Portal. When I click on that tab, it uncovers the Siemens OpenScape toolbar. And inside here, starting from left to right, I have my redial functionality. All I have to do is select any number to redial it. I can create and manage my own conferences simply and effectively because Siemens OpenScape Office is its own audio conferencing bridge. And I can create conferences on demand and I can also schedule conferences to be held whenever I wish. Right. A very, very popular feature. Next to the uh, conferencing icon is the status icon. At the moment my status is showing is in the office. And I have a selection of statuses. I can choose to set them myself or I can actually have it follow, change my status by following my calendar and uh, just kicking off the keywords such as holiday, out, break, sick and so on. So whenever my status changes, my calls are automatically diverted to wherever I've predetermined they'll go. For example, in a lunch scenario, my calls follow me out of the office onto my mobile, just as they do for my out of office status. I also have a couple of options around my actual office status. The standard is that you are available to work in the office. The other one is that you're available to work, but you're working outside of the office environment. For example, either a remote worker, a teleworker, or hot desking. And you can say, I'm available for work, but I'm actually available for work today from only using my mobile, or I could enter my home number, or whatever, whatever type of number I want. In fact, I can even enter a little message up here that would explain to, um, to my colleagues exactly where I am and what I'm doing, again, if I choose to. So I've just changed my status to I'm available, but I'm available only to work on my mobile, and a little presence pop has been enabled that pops up here and uh, indicates that I'm, I'm available, that I'm available out of the office, and by moving my cursor to the left-hand side of my screen and holding it there for a second, it's actually going to kick out my personal favorites bar. And in my per personal favorites bar, I have created several groups, and then I've dragged people out of our solutions internal directory out of my personal and group contacts and out of our external directories and drop them in here and now I've actually got access to those people. I can have instant message conversations with them if I choose to and I can also see their status in real time. For example, I can see Rob's mobile status, I can see John McKinnon, our managing director, I can have a look at our sales team, I can see who's in the office, who's out of the office, I can see that Craig Donner, he's currently on a telephone call. So a lot of presence information and it's available to me at my fingertips. And also with these icons here, we can actually indicate the real-time status of people's mobile devices. So for example, if I was uh, if I was to call Rob Curry, then in doing so, we see that there's a call ringing for Rob Curry, and that's me. It's ringing on my mobile, so my mobile showing is ringing there. It's coming out, in this case, via the Vodafone network. And I've now answered it, and you see that the status of my of my device has now changed from a red ringing mobile phone to a green in use mobile phone. So at a glance, you can actually see that Rob Curry, wherever he is in the world, is actually on a mobile phone call. Therefore, pointless for me trying to actually contact him until he's available. I'll just hang that up. Another function besides the um, the office status function is the voicemail messages. And if I click on that, it brings up my personal voicemail box. I've got no new messages at the moment, but I've got a whole bunch of played messages. The little red dots signify calls that I've chosen to record. And there was our service review, uh, monthly review conference call that has been recorded and is available for me to transcribe or to forward to somebody. I can call anybody directly off the screen. I can play messages through my computer speakers or through my telephone. I can forward the message to anybody or any group of people and add comments. I can email it. I can save it as a voice message. I can copy the person's details to Outlook. And of course, I have another folder with all of my saved messages, my deleted messages. I even have messages for faxes, sending and receiving 
inbound and outbound faxing. Again, just a standard part of what's delivered uh, through Siemens OpenScape Office. Next to that I have the call journal and I can open that and at a glance I can see every single call I've made, received or missed today. They're broken up into tabs along the top. I can go back to last week and I can see I missed seven calls. I can right click and call the person back directly from the screen or I could choose to even schedule an outbound call to that person on any of the numbers that they're available on, on any date and regarding any subject. And at that date and time, it will simply pop up as a little reminder, tray pop in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, and I can choose to make the call by hitting enter, or I can choose to snooze it, delete it, or reschedule it. I can see all of my external calls, all of my outbound calls, who I've talked to, how long for, and of course, I've even got a scheduled calls tab that I can manage myself here. And if I choose to, I can even export all of these um, call details uh, into any mechanism that I choose to into any media. We've got a full internal directory that shows us the real-time status of every user in our system. I can even take people, for example, Paul Pryor there, looking a bit like one of the Blues Brothers. I can grab him, drag him to the left, and I could drop him into any group I wish to. I could drop him into the business group to join John and myself. And now Paul's there. I can see his status in real time. He's currently in a meeting. I can call him, instant message him, schedule outbound calls to him. And if I don't need him there anymore, I can simply remove him. This favorites bar on the left hand side, I have it hiding on my left. I could hide it on the right, not hide it at all, or in fact I could even have it so I don't see it and don't use it at all. It's whatever your personal preference is. We've got a full external directory that integrates via LDAP and ODBC to all other external directories you have, including Active Directory, uh, anything that's ODBC compliant, any SQL directories. And in here we can see people, call them, contact them, schedule outbound calls to them, and of course any incoming calls from these people will bring up those relevant name and company details because it will be matched against the calling party's calling line ID. Uh, so that's a little brief tour through, uh, through the solution. I'm actually just going to change my status to back in the office right now, and I'll just minimize the application just for a second, and then we're just going to put a call in and see what happens. Here's the call coming through. I'm just going to answer it. And we can see, in this case, it's Barney calling me. I can hang up the call. I can transfer the call. I can hold the call. I can record on demand. And of course, if I'm recording it on demand, I can start and stop the recording. I can open up an email, to, uh, to for example, to minute the call. I can open up an instant message to have an instant message conversation with the party. I can schedule an outbound call. I can enter any number to transfer it to. I could even kick out my favorites bar and say, look, you actually need to speak to one of our project managers. Kieran's uh, out of the office at the moment, but Natasha's available. I'll transfer you. And I could even transfer you to Natasha if she was working from home today. So that's it. That's a brief rundown on the operations of Siemens OpenScape Office. And in fact, that's the message has just been emailed to me. I've got a new voicemail pop here. I could play it straight off my screen or through my phone. And of course, in my inbox, there it is, and I can actually play it directly off the screen, a 28 call I've just minute second call I've just had with Barney. And in fact, if I came into my voice messages window, it's because I've opened it, it's no longer a new message. It is now a played message, and here it is sitting here for me to call Barney back or to play the message and so on. So that's that's a brief rundown on Siemens OpenScape Office.